and welcome to your Go Market update on the 1st of June 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw softer US equities as markets paused, possibly in relation to the upcoming data over the next few days, which is significant, and oil price concerns, which of course one of the major pressures on inflation. US futures are higher in early trading. And Asian indices are mixed today so far. ASX managing to hold gains of around about 0.2% in a choppy session. European futures are pointing to a higher open later today. We've also seen in the FX market the US dollar index bouncing off short-term support. It's again slightly higher in the Asian session. As a result of that USD strength, we've seen gold drop below that 1850 level that we've been trading around for a few days and it's testing short-term support at 1835 again oil has paused around that 120 a barrel in, in a slightly weaker session last night down to about 118 and change in this morning's asian trading as a gauge of market sentiment the vix continues to drop slowly and closes in on the important 25 level whether it breaks through or not will be dependent really on the market response to data that's due out in the next couple of days. Uh, we're seeing Bitcoin still hold over 30,000 as more buying was evident yesterday, trading just below 32,000 at the moment. On the data front today, Australian GDP numbers are already out and beat expectations. Though slightly down on last month, we were expecting a bigger drop. So that's good news for the AUD and German retail sales and US PMI are due out later today. Thursday and Friday's jobs data is critical. We've got the ADP and the weekly US jobs out tomorrow and then, of course, the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Let's have a look at a couple of charts, of course, our eye this morning. If we look at the Australian JPY, you can see there we broke back through that key 90 level last week and you can see we've continued to move up throughout the week. That GDP number certainly helping the AUD this morning. You can see there we're looking good to retest potentially the next key level which is around about 93.65 around about 100 pips higher than where we are now if we just check in on the hourly chart you'll see this in more detail you can see the last four days we've seen significant up moves higher in asia today just a little shy in this latest candle so we've got that pivot high there at around about 92.86 to potentially sort of give us a an indication that sentiment may push us up through 93 and maybe up to this 9360 level. One to watch as we go throughout the day. On the ASX, we are still like in Macquarie Group. We had a little bit of a softer day yesterday that's taken us back down to that 200 EMA, but you can see in today's trading, we're trading towards the high of the session, around about where we opened, looking to push higher from here. If we do get some more buying into this, then potentially that 200 level is in sight. So around about 6% up from where we are now. You can see the short term moving averages confirming a change to uptrend. So that's one on our radar today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.